and welcome to FinExtra. I'm Emily Haller and I'm here with Matt Farrer from EPAM. Thanks very much for joining me. No problem. So there's more than just digital transformation and wealth management. What role does service design play? Okay, so service design plays many roles. I can give you two examples. So the first example is really understanding uh, the users now. So we know that within wealth management there's going to be different kinds of investors. Um, everything from Generation X investor who may be in China, who has certain traits and certain persona and the way that they interact with their friends and family and advisors to help them to make the investment. All the way through to um, you know, investors based in the UK and in the US, they're all different. Right, so they'll all have very different ways in which they want to invest, they'll all have very different relationships with their advisor and their peers, and they'll use different devices and social networks in order to engage uh, to make those investments. So service design really helps, um, or we help our clients to understand how uh, different users interact with their services. And that's the first thing. So that's the here and now. Secondly, we help the clients understand how those users are going to evolve. So setting a vision. So saying, okay, if we look forward to 2020, how are the same consumers, how are the same uh, users across all those different regions going to interact with wealth management projects in five years? So in effect, what you're doing is saying, real empathy for the, for the users now, for you know, um, Generation X, for mass affluent, millennials and then understanding how they will evolve as individuals towards um, you know um, a very different way of uh, interacting with wealth and investing in five years so there'll be very different people with over a five-year period and the dynamics of that so really we don't focus on necessarily wealth products we focus on the customer the humans and the way in which they are going to interact with products and services that's a critical thing if we just focused on how humans interact right now, then we would be ill-prepared for the future, which is why it's really important to try and understand how technology is going to influence the way they interact with digital services in the future. How should private banks and wealth management firms monitor transformation, i.e. where they want to be and how to get there? So I mentioned that vision is really important. You know, where do they want to be in 2020? And then really looking at you know, where they are today. So by doing that, by mapping out those, those journeys and by mapping out that uh, four or five year roadmap, we're able to basically pick off opportunities that we can turn into products and service to service the customers and measure you know, success in increments over that period of time. So does design have a role in creating change of value? Absolutely. So we find that design has a role, but it isn't the only thing. So it's now part of a multidisciplinary team. So, you know, designers, designers think very differently. You know, we've always been labelled with this, you know, you're the guys that make things look pretty, right? You design things that are more appealing and more emotional. The reality is designers are able to make very complex challenges really easy to understand. Right? So if you take that ability to listen to challenges, whether they're about what's going to happen in the future, or whether they're about the complexities of user interactions. Designers can really help to articulate and empathize with those challenges. But then you need technologists to be able to think about how we then turn that into delivery and platform. And you also need business consultants that form part of the same multidisciplinary teams to be able to model the future, to create new business models. And you also need insight and data, which is the fourth. So insight and data really enables you to validate your thinking. So we talk about design, business, uh, insight and data, and technology as being the key things. Design is very much a part of that. And it is the, what it brings more than anything is the, is the empathy to the users. Matt, that's great, thank you very much. All right, thank you. And thank you for watching.